people, people, it's your boy Lewis, owner of Eva's Vici brand, here with my boy Heck Garcia for just another podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's it right there. <laughs> So for me, Vivas Vici is like, it's for people that are trying to do better in life, who didn't have the, you know, all these resources, and don't come from a lot of money, but you're, you're, you're going somewhere, you're about progress, growth, the journey from, from nothing to something, and something doesn't have to mean mansions and millions and stuff like that, it can just mean you're better off than I was. My name is Lewis, and this is the Vivas Vici brand. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 11 of Just Another Podcast. I got my guy on here tonight, Lewis Concepcion of Vivas Vici, owner, CEO, Everything. C O O. He's everything. He's the he's the owner. He's the printer. He's everything. He does everything, everything for the brand, everything. man. Um, if you've seen you see if you follow him on Instagram, you know, Vivas Vici, he's always posting up. He's he's always he's you know, he's one of the more aggressive brand owners that I've seen. He's constantly just putting up stuff of his brand and and you know, matching with I think he's definitely trying to be a part of the clothing culture, urban clothing culture. Um, yeah. I mean, and it's just, I think the sky's the limit for this brother. Lewis, what's going on? Thank, How's it going? Thank, thank you for having me, first and foremost. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate nah, nah. it. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Definitely. I, I, listen, man, you, you were definitely, if I, if I show you the list, you were definitely on the on the on that first list of people that I had. Oh, that. I, was just, I was like, yo, like I see this guy's constantly in my feed. And I was like, yo, posted, like posted. Nah, that's I'm dope boy. though. That's dope. But that's you know, that yeah. that's something that people need to learn. Like you have to be aggressive. Like, yeah, you know, at least, yeah. you know, what what it, you know. So I mean, listen, man, and, and your stuff is dope. Your stuff is dope, man. I mean, thank you. Thank shoot. you. I got to see it. Like, listen, man, those, those you, stimulus you, checks you come out to, this weekend. You got yours on. You got yours on. I got mine on right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lewis, ex explain to the people who you are and, and, and your vision and, and everything about Vivas Vici. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Lewis, um, from, from the Dominican Republic, I came here. Um, to New York City when I was five years old. Um, grew up, grew up uptown on Dykeman. Um, went to school here. Um, played ball, you know, played ball here and everything. Um, so, I guess to to keep it focused on the on the brand, I guess. Um, fast forward to to John when I was in John Jay. Um, I think like 2011. Oh, snap. Uh, you went to John Jay. I'm in the long Yeah, time. I went there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the I went there later. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I went to John Jay. That's where I got, got my BA from. Um, and, and I'll never forget there was this one class. Um, it was an English class, it was an English course. Um, and it was, I, I forgot the, the exact name of it, but we used to actually um, analyze text. And, and and manuscripts and and then if there was a movie associated with the text, we would watch that and then analyze it too. So it had to do a lot of like with power dynamics mm -hmm. um, and, and things like that. So that's when I, I came in contact with, with V for Vendetta, as yeah, I was right. telling you. Mm -hmm. um, and in that movie, which came out when I was in John Jay, um, 
there's like this long phrase in, in, in the, one of the scenes and it says, um, and, and when the girl says it, the main character, V, he, he translates it for her and he says, by the power of truth, I while living have conquered the universe. Hey, mm. and you know me at that time, I was, I wanted to conquer the universe. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I was, I, you know, always had my, come from humble beginnings, so I always strove for, for excellence and, and trying to provide for my family what I didn't have right. growing up and things like that. So when I heard that phrase, I was like, oh, shoot, wow. <laughs> immediately, yeah, yeah. it stuck with me. Um, so then fast forward to the brand Vivas Vici. Mm -hmm. Um, I wasn't gonna name it the whole thing because you know, copyrights and all that yeah, stuff yeah. that that <laughs> that doesn't belong to me. Um, but then those last two words, Vivas Vici of, of the um sentence, right. um, which sometimes is translated to like you live in power, mm -hmm. um, live and conquer, live in war. Mm -hmm. But I, I I felt like for me, live and conquer was, you know, we've, we've been living through so much stuff every day. Right, um, right. And, and it's like every day is a battle. Every day you have to conquer whatever's put um, in front of you. Definitely. So that was like, yep, it, that, that's the name, live and conquer. I, yeah, I want the people that wear this brand, um, you know, people like us, the, yeah, we're, yeah. we're living a real hard, um, hard life and every day we got to wake up and, and just conquer our obstacles so that's that's the whole story definitely. behind the name yeah no definitely that's dope that's really yeah dope. yeah and that come that came from a really you know that's a powerful movie like like people don't understand like you know they they just saw like natalie portman and you know, her cutting her hair and all that stuff yeah yeah and, but it's <laughs> but like when you when you when you digest that movie in its entirety that's a super powerful movie and it's talking about like you know what at that time because of the president that we had at that time mm -hmm. what our society was kind of trending towards yeah and, you know so it was it, it it's interesting that you kind of pulled that from that movie i mean it, it's kind of destiny and you think about it but, yeah, yeah yeah that's dope that's really and no cool. lie I've, everyone i <laughs> like told go watch mm -hmm. this movie or put onto mm -hmm. this movie like during this whole like the pandemic and, and mm -hmm. the Trump administration, mm -hmm. they were like, are, are we living through V for Vendetta? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. So I, yeah. I rewatched it and I was like, it's crazy how mm -hmm. the movie came out, I think it was like 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. And like things from the movie are like, you know. Almost prophesized oh, where we would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. It's a little crazy. Yeah, so. Yeah. Shout out to V for Vendetta. I love that. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I love there'll, there'll definitely be a yeah. still in, in, when, the, when the final edit of this podcast comes about. There'll be a still <laughs> picture of it. Because that was a dope movie. Yeah, that was a dope yeah. movie. And I, you know, and you think about it. Yeah, we kind of did. I mean, I, I thought it was like we were trending towards that with the Bush era. But we kind of really yeah, that too. full that circle too. with Trump. Trump mm -hmm. was, and the Trump administration. With, yeah really brought us to that to that part especially with the coronavirus and everything corona around. freedom freedom of speech and mm -hmm. how it's like being censored and all yeah. that so yeah definitely. there's a lot of themes a lot of themes <laughs> coming up definitely definitely no that's dope that's dope um so i you spoke about humble beginnings right? yeah and so if you could kind of if you feel comfortable enough to share you know when you talk about humble beginnings let's go back to when you when you first arrived in you know the united states at five years old what, what was that like for you coming here and yeah so it's like um i don't know my, my life has been my childhood has been for me as like i always think back on it mm -hmm. and, and and reflect and i'm like you know it was always like 50 50. Um, you can look at what happened or, or how I was raised and brought up and say, oh, you know, he, he had a, a tough upbringing. Right. Or the way I look at it is like, you know, the tough upbringing made me, a, is, is a big part of why, you know, I'm, I'm the way I am today. Right. Um, 
so like you know age of five i came here no english of course <laughs> absolutely yeah, yeah. no english um back then uh like the factories were, were a thing and so my mom was working at, what, at what the, year did uh, you come here uh 96. oh wow yeah wow. 1996 95 wow. so 95 96. yeah wow mm -hmm. okay so I was, you know, yeah. a, a <clears throat> tiny person. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were my height when you got <laughs> when you were around this. <laughs> um, it, it's funny because my mom told me the first thing I, I told her when I, when I saw her, because she left me in DR when I was three, so I was without her for for two and a half years. Right. Um, so after two years, the first thing I said to her, she jokes on me all the time. She's like, "Oh." Why are you so short? <laughs> yeah, so my mom, I think she's like five one or something. So right. <laughs> even back then, back then, I was almost her height. Right, right, right. Um, but but no, um, when I got here, I had I had that one summer to get it together before I started kindergarten, and wow. and 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 I re like there's not a lot of things I remember about being five but i do remember that summer because i was staying with my aunt and she was teaching me english and every word that i didn't get right would be a slap on the back of my head mm. so she hey. said yeah but she, she sat with me every day that summer and i think by september um when i enrolled <laughs> into kindergarten i was all the I words was, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's it and so you fast forward, so you get, you know, you, you learn English the mm -hmm. hard way, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And then, and then, you know, so I speak on more like, you know, growing up in, you know, you don't got to necessarily guide me through kindergarten. Mm -hmm. No, no, no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, I, I grew up on um 207, but what is now yeah. In known internationally as Dykeman. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before yeah. it was just. Before it was just 207 yeah. inward or, yeah. or uptown, but now yeah. both the whole region is, is Dykeman. So it don't um, matter if, if you're on Dykeman or you're on 230th, yeah, you're, yeah. On you're on Dykeman. You're on Dykeman. <laughs> you're on Dykeman. Yeah, yeah. So, so grew up on Dykeman um, from, from the age of seven to, to, to 21, I was there. So like I'd, I'd saw all the, the, the changes, all the phases of, of Dykeman when, when Dykeman street when the strip was nothing but closed businesses and and the bike shop that that's yeah. always been there mm -hmm. um I remember. but yeah you know i went to to, to ps 98 is 52 all the local schools yeah. um and then for, for high school i went to, to washington irving down on union mm -hmm. square um but but growing up i grew up with my mom and my stepfather younger brother um like I like I told you before, my first job was at 13. Right. Um, yeah, so I was at, um, there, there's a sea town that's still there um, on 207 and Broadway. That was my first yeah. job. Pack, wow. pack, packing bags and making deliveries on weekends. Because, you know, like yeah. my, my mom came from DR. She didn't mm. read or, or speak the language. So she was working at the factories. And yeah. that just wasn't <clears throat> enough. So. Yeah. So, you know, I had to make a little extra, get my own clothes um, since 13. And, you know, a lot of us, that's how we grew up. We, yeah. we, had, to, we had to work or it was, you know, yeah. the neighbors giving us the left, the, the hand-me-downs from their right. older right. kids and things like that. So yeah. um, I, I, at, at some point I was like, hmm. I'm starting to be cool now, so I, I can't necessarily <laughs> keep wearing these things. So that was the option I had, especially for high school, man. No, you no. You could not, for high school, you could not wear uh, hand me down. Because <laughs> they, they would know. They right. would know. Right. So you have to make that little effort and get you a little side job. Yeah. And, and back then, get your little academic jeans and yeah, yeah. Pe Pepe and jeans. Nietzsche, and Nietzsche, <laughs> and and... <laughs> I remember. And Nietzsche jeans. Yeah, yeah. Really? So, so definitely, I think work has always been a big part of, of, of what I know. 
Right. Um, and like, you know, it doesn't matter what I've worked at or in, but I've always, you know, gave it, gave it my all. So definitely come from that hardworking um, culture and environment that, that I, I'd say our, our, our people from yeah. the islands are, 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 are known for. Definitely. Um, you know, they, yeah, they definitely <laughs> come here. They may be professionals back home, but, you know, sometimes yeah. it doesn't translate here. So they got to start from square one and work their way up. Definitely. So, so yeah. And, and kudos to you for not taking any shortcuts because when you live in the Heights, there are plenty of shortcuts. And, and you, you and, know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> I, and I, I think, I think to this day, I only, and, and you, you met him, he was at, mm-hmm. at, at yeah. the place too. Um, I think out of all my friends growing up, probably two of us didn't mm-hmm. go that route. Right. But we we definitely had the the longer route, right? But but when you look at our you know our resume and our records, yeah, it, it was worth it. It's clean, no, definitely. I, yeah, definitely. I could go anywhere. We don't have to look back behind my mm. shoulder. So definitely. So I'm I, yeah yeah. And, Kudos to you, man. That that's you're doing your thing, and it you know I'm pretty sure your your mom is proud. And you know your family's very proud of you and where you came yeah, from, yeah. stuff like that. Um, in talk, you know, so I just want to ask you a quick question, and yeah. you, know, you can answer. It however, in terms of your dad, did you ever know him, or did you ever, you know, like, do you? Yeah. So um, he stood in. They, um, yeah, they, they it didn't work out. Um, okay. And then you know back back then. My mom didn't have money to send me back to DR like every summer. Right. So that uh, that affected me, uh, you know, getting to build a, a relationship with him. But you know, so in in all fairness, he he called me every birthday. Never okay. missed a birthday. Never so, missed a Christmas. Um, yeah. So that he definitely did his part as as a father, with 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 a son in another country to continue continue to reach out and and keep those lines of communication open so yeah well that is dope and and you know shout out to your dad because yeah you yeah. Know, the, the narrative tends to be that dominican fathers <laughs> <laughs> they'll plant you and then they're like okay they just the plant their seeds and keep, keep moving yeah <laughs> you know by, I was by, like, I was... by the time you're out you're already planted <laughs> somewhere else seriously like you know i i was talking yeah. so i had my uncle on the show, I think he was like episode three or four. He was the gangster, the intelligent gangster. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. no, that's his brother. And we were talking about that. I was just like, man, you know, I was like, Dominican fathers just, you know, they they help you get here, but once you're here, yeah. they're like, okay, <laughs> figure it out, because I'm gonna be on the Figure it out. <laughs> but you know, yeah. shout out to your dad because you know, at least he, he tried to keep in touch, which yeah, yeah I know definitely. In, in my era, that wasn't the case. Like, it was like the Dominican dad was like, you might see him out when you're out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You'd be okay, in the pool yeah. hall and he's there. He's there. The pool too. You're like, oh, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I'm chilling. What are you doing here? He's like, All right, dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, you, see you at home or something. <laughs> so, yeah, it's interesting. So, yeah. You know, you so you went to John Jay, which was dope. Graduated with yeah, GPA. Yeah. Um, and then no worked, school said, loans, thank God. Oh man, <laughs> no, I wish I could say the same, brother. Yeah. I paid off one, <laughs> but then I got another one. Thank okay, <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. I may take that one with me to the grave. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know. But anyway, no. Cool. Again, shout out to you, man. That's dope. That's dope. No school loans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. no debt hanging over your head. Yeah, that's the, the CUNY. Thank God for CUNY, you know, and, and for for them. Uh, what is it? Financial aid and all yeah. that stuff, because that that really came through. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So, tell me about. So, when I met you, I met you in like 2011, right? The 11, yeah. 2011. Yeah. And you were you you were working with you know. We worked at a place that worked with children. It was a summer camp. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. And then, you know, you did your thing there. I think you were, I remember, you know, I, I was always, 
you know, just being, just watching how people work. With people. Always watch, yeah, you, yeah, you know, you're observing. You're yeah. Like, yeah, and so, you know, I always saw you were very, you were very good with the youth, you're very attentive, you know, you're very, you're very calm with them, you know, and you, a lot of them didn't get that from the other counselors there. Mm -hmm. um, no, you're very patient with them. If they didn't get yeah, something, yeah. you were just like, okay, all right, let's figure it out. And Let's they would try you. They would try you. I would see the everyone. This one little girl was trying your patience. You just looked at her. And he was just like, okay. And she just looked at you. And she just gave up. She was like, all right, you know what? Yeah, go <laughs> <laughs> right, you. I mean, you probably was frustrated, or you might have been, but you didn't show it. Like you were yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. you were just like, yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there with you. I said what I said. That's it. And that's, she, that's it. Yeah. And she was just like, ah, but you just like. I don't know what to tell you. And he just looked at her and she was just like, ah. Oh. And she went and sat down. I was just like, oh, snap. Like, okay, good for you. Good for you. Kill, kill, him, kill him with kindness. Nah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and then I noticed, like, like, I remember hearing, like, your name. Like, you was just like, you started getting in, like, you know, like, you. They were like, "Yo, no, we got. We want to put him in this position, and, and you know, director and all that yeah, stuff." Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. So, so, um, so I, I went to John Jay from 07 to 2011. Mm -hmm. Um, and then in 2011, when I graduated, um, I found I found I was hired for that job. I graduated in May. I was I was hired wow, that's um, crazy. August, August. Yeah. Wow. So I went, I was, I was going everywhere. My degree. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> You can't deny hire me. <laughs> That's um, dope. Yeah, That's so dope. definitely I was in um getting thirty five thousand a year salary. Like that for me, that was I was a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> so, at, at, at twenty one. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah. so definitely um when I when I started, I was at I was a um a case manager for for the high school. Um, and then in the summertime, since it was only a 10 month position, summertime, I would come over and do summer camp. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been working with, with kids after the supermarket job. And then when I finally got my, my working papers, right. that, that's all I've ever worked for was, was either after school programs or summer camps. Um, so that interview um, was, was easy for me because it's like, that's all I knew. <laughs> was how to how to work with kids. Yeah, and those <laughs> and, are the easiest that, jobs to get too. Like those yeah, are like yeah, because yeah. they're mm -hmm. like they're looking for youth. They're looking for young people to like to to sit with other young people and help them with their homework and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. They, so so, so definitely yeah. That, that's that's and even <clears throat> today that's still my background is on um, mm -hmm. youth development, um, and that's still what I do. Um, so. Yeah, when when I was there, every year I was there, I got a promotion. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because it was like I was always trying to be ahead of of what was happening. Right. Or just like um and like you said, like I'm I was I'm quiet. Like I'm mm -hmm. not the type to let everybody know that hey, I just did this at work or right, right, right. send out a long email to my supervisor saying, Hey. <laughs> this is what I did today. Um, but like, you know, the right, the right people were, were noticing, which mm. doesn't always happen um, in like in, in the workplace. No, definitely. But, but I, I have been fortunate that, you know, my hard work hasn't gone unnoticed. Mm. And, and even like starting off as a young professional, that, that was the case there. Um, so any opportunity that, that came to advance, I was always... Yeah um asked if i if i wanted to take on this challenge um and me you know i i was a I, yeah sure yeah. <laughs> I, i'll do, I'll, I'll do yeah, it definitely. um but yeah the, the, i'm thinking my first three years there i was the case manager assistant director then half then six months later i got the director's job at my own center um and then yeah so i've been i've been blessed hard hard work but, but definitely Thankful that the right people um were paying attention to. No, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. No, that's dope. That's Could dope. you talk about like the birth of the I know it started out with the name, like you you were 
yeah. you were enthralled with the with the name Beavis Beach. Yeah, the but name did, was there. Yeah. yeah, when did you think about like when did a clothing brand become like a thing like you really wanted yeah. to? Yeah, yeah. The name the name was there <laughs> way before I even thought about the clothing brand. So um, it was twenty. Okay, so so I have a favorite rapper. Mm-hmm. His name is his name is Fab. You may have heard of him. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. So, so fly so, dude. Yeah, yeah. So back back growing up, he had a clothing brand. Um, it was called Rich Young. Mm-hmm. Um, and I kid you not, I think Rich Young was out for probably like eight years or something. Mm-hmm. And for eight years, that's <laughs> all I that's all I wore. <laughs> Okay. That was all I wore. I didn't. I, I didn't wear anything else but Rich Young. Okay. So when when Rich Young went out of business or they sold it, something happened. But they yeah. the, the last thing I've heard was that they um sold it to to Dr. J, mm. and doc, Dr. J's was selling it. But yeah. the new stuff that they were making was like super low quality. It was Dr. Yeah, J. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, it was right. affordable. It went from yeah. like you know. Two hundred dollar pair of jeans and you know hundred dollar yeah. pair of shirts and now twenty five dollar yeah. pair of shirts and like yeah. forty dollar pair of jeans. So I was like, you know, the quality wasn't the same, mm. but I still wore it just to be loyal to the brand. Um, and then what? The next thing I knew, that's it. It was gone. Dr. J's didn't have them. Um, I think Fab announced that <laughs> he was no longer um, a part of of Rich Young. Right. So I was lost. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was lost without Rich Young. I said, "What am I gonna wear?" Right now, right. now that brand I've worn for the past eight years doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's crazy to hear. He said, "I was lost." <laughs> yeah, I was lost, man. Yeah. For real, for real. Um, so then, you know, I think from. From 15, 2015 to, to 2016, I was sampling stuff, um, trying out the new brands and things, but not, I'm, I'm really, I'm into colors and I'm into like weird designs and like catchy designs and, and different designs. And I felt like that's what Rich Young gave me, like colors, big, big logos. Yeah. Right. Um, and then of course you had like Fab promoting it crazy, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know people knew about it. Yeah. Um, and then so so I was like, you know, I decided I was like after after a while, I'm like, yeah, I don't really like nothing. Nothing's catching my attention. Let me let me see if, if there's any websites that let you create your own shirts. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I did find when I it was um what was custom ink. Mm-hmm. Which which I use for work to right, customize right, right. staff, staff yeah, 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 yeah. shirts and whatnot. Definitely. So I said, um, so then that summer custom ink renovated their whole website, added a whole bunch of stuff, and now they had like on their website a a, a, a create a t shirt interface right. on the website. So that summer I think I spent like eight hundred bucks on 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 t on t shirts and like most mostly on <laughs> shipping. Right. Mostly on shipping. Shipping, <laughs> shipping, shipping was was mo- more than the shirt itself. Right. Um, but I was there like every day, just putting things together, and and I still have like my first five shirts. I still have them in in the dresser. Wow. Um, just you know for for memorabilia and whatnot. Of course. But but but, and all of them say Vivas Vici, but it wasn't a clothing brand. It wasn't right. a clothing brand. I just felt like it had to say something, right. and that something was Beavis Vici. Yes. Um, and then I, I wore it that summer, and I was like, you know, I could get I could get used to this making, you know, buying the sneaker first, um, buying some some pair of jeans, and then making a <laughs> shirt or a sweater to match the colors of the sneakers. Right. Um. So I I did that 2016 the whole year 2016, I did it, and I kept getting the same question what is that and i was like i'm just making stuff for myself <laughs> that's dope <laughs> i'm though. just i'm just making stuff for myself yeah and then the second question was um are you selling it i was like no i'm not selling it it's just for me 
right. you don't have these sneakers. And if you do, I mean, I'll, I'll give you the link and you yeah. can make it yourself. Right. Um, and I'll give you the designs or whatever, Google it, it's there. Right. But I had no intention of, of selling or, or starting a clothing brand. Um, and then it, it wasn't until like the hundredth person asked me, <laughs> <laughs> yo, this is, this is, oh, I think it was a birthday outfit that I yeah. put together and everybody wow. asked for that shirt. <clears throat> it was like this, this burgundy and gold shirt. Right. That I made to match some like some some nines that that yeah. I bought, yeah. um, and everybody wanted it. Everybody wanted, it. and I was like, you know what? Let me get let me give it a try. Right. Let me start with this shirt that everybody says that they want, and take it from there. So 2017, I gave myself a year. So the whole 2017 mm. was my was my trial period. It was if if, if I'm gonna do this. Right. Um, this is the year that, that has to convince me that it's, it's going to be worth it. Um, not only like as a, as a brand, but as a business, mm -hmm. is it going to be worth me spending all this money? Um, am I still going to be using custom ink mm -hmm. and paying like $30 shipping for like right, a $10 right. shirt? Right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> so that was the year that I really like. From from January to March, I didn't make anything. I, I I just bought this 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 binder and wrote everything down, everything that I that I needed. Um, I started like pricing things and how much I was gonna sell. Um, if there was gonna make if I was gonna no, my first year I said I'm not gonna make a profit off of nothing. Mm -hmm. I just want people to to tell me that they like it. Okay. So, so for the whole 2017, <clears throat> my goal was no profit, just positive feedback. Right. And then at the end of 2017, I was going to make the decision whether to move forward or just say, nah, this is just, I'm going to keep doing this for me. Right. Um, so at the end of 2000, summer 2017 was a hit. Um, I think I, I, I sold like a hundred t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Um, that 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 one summer again zero profit just just yeah. selling t-shirts. I saw um, I saw you on IG. Yeah. It was like I was like yo yeah. this is kind of dope. Yeah, just oh, driving dude. drive mm -hmm. driving to people's houses to make sure that you got your profit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, you you want this man? Yeah, yeah. All right, let me make it for you. At, at that time, I wasn't even at no website, no nothing, no no Zell. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it to you. You pay me whenever I see you. Right. Um, so that that was the 2017, and then I was like, you know what, I I could, I'm impressed at at what I did at, in 2017, and then also how I was received. Right. Um. So I definitely say, yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a move forward. Um. And that's when I started, the putting together the clothing brand Vivas Vici. Um, end of 2017, but officially, um, May 2018. Yeah, definitely was when, was when it was was when it was born. Birth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, and, and I like your, I I like the fact that you 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 make it relatable to like, like you make it like an like a like an outfit concept. You know what I'm saying? Like everything yeah, is like you yeah. know like you'll be like yeah. Like I saw, like you had like the one shirt that matched those the, the 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 red, white, blue, and like the yellow tent Lebrons. The, the old oh one. yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, this guy, yo, he's got it. Man. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's dope. And you know, like every, you know, like even like, you know, like I was going like down your feed, like I, I looked through your page. I was trying to pull pictures for like the promo and stuff, and I'm just like, uh -huh. yo, I got this dude. Like he really got the eye for that like there's you know some people just make a shirt to sell but you can yeah, tell like yeah. there's with you like it's it's really like there's there's the quality aspect and there's also like the 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 pleasure of looking fly like the pleasure of looking really nice yeah. in this yeah you know? yeah mm -hmm. and so it it's a it's a your attention to detail is amazing with that um and i was just like oh man like that's what I kept saying. I was like, damn. And, like, and I, got, I was like, I got to buy this hoodie. And I was like, got to get this hoodie. And 
And I was there, I'm like, oh, dad, I'm just like, yeah. And then every time I would look, it was like it sold out. I'm like, what the? Oh. As I hit you up, and I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get a hoodie. <laughs> I gotta get the hoodie. Gone. <laughs> I was like, everything's gone. Like, what's going on? He was like, no, no, no. Like, tell me which one you want and I'll make it. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, All right. yeah. And that's that's <laughs> dope too, although, you know, the more success you gain, you know, I don't know how how you'll be able to keep up that uh that ability to per you know, that that personal a personal touch yeah but yeah, i think right yeah. now that's one of your winning points at this that's point. what makes it yeah i think that's what makes it a little more more special especially mm -hmm. because i i think 50 percent of like the work that i do is, is custom like custom shirts right. or somebody will um say hey i just bought these can you make me something um and it's to a point where a, a, a few people show me the sneakers and they're like just just make me something i i believe in what you're about to make he's like just make me something here's the money and and whatever you make i'll be happy with um so those are the ones that keep me up later at night because i'm like you know if depending on how many colors the, the sneaker has you have to decide like what's the garment color then what colors are going to complement the garment right so, so it, they, I, I, but those are the, the, the colors that, that honestly push me a little bit to be better because, um, yeah, I mean, I, anybody could do black and red or black and white, of course, of course. but, but like you said, it's those like the white, red, mm -hmm. blue and, and, and yellow, yeah. like that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> those, yeah. 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 And those you did four, it though. You those did four it though. colors don't usually go well together, <laughs> but, but yeah. Yeah. yeah so. No, definitely. Yeah, you did it. I was just like, yeah, I'm looking at my colors <laughs> too, man. Forget about it. Yeah. All right. So if you if you were to write like a how to how to start your own clothing brand. Yeah. And you don't have to get if you know, like what would be your top three tips for someone for yeah. a young person aspiring to become the next Vivas Vici or, you know and, what I'm saying, or to, to pull in, to go into their own lane and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and I literally <laughs> have this conversation at least twice a day um, <laughs> from, from just, from just DMs on Instagram of, I can of, you know, pe of I can people imagine. asking me, especially because I, I opened my big mouth and I put all my stories. I'm an open book. I'm willing to share all, <laughs> anything just hit me up. So ever since then, yeah. they've been, they haven't been shot, but it, it's cool because I people, feel like you know people DM mm -hmm. me when I threw up the pictures of you. People DM yeah. me like, "Hey, those pictures are dope," and I'm like, "DM him." Like, I, I, <laughs> it's my podcast. <laughs> I literally put DM at Vivas Vici. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to start a clothing brand. Like, DM yeah. him. And they're like, "Oh, oh, we're yeah. sorry, okay." And then so I don't know if they did, but I was just literally I'm like I'll, building I'll questions for you, and I'm like, I don't know I'll how to start a clothing brand. <laughs> yeah but no definitely when when i was when i was um when i decided to move past the custom ink phase right. to like because you can't use that for a clothing brand right of course. um because now you're like talking about volume and and you got to mass produce things mm -hmm. i i think i i dm about 20 local clothing brands and owners Mm -hmm. And out of those 20, one person replied and, 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 and that, and I, I'm always thankful to this person. Um, and he didn't know me from a hole in the wall, right. invited me to his apartment and, and, and gave me like a, not a, not a tutorial, but like a conversation yeah. of, of how he went about doing things and showed me some of the things that he used. Um, and then that he was like, you know, I, I, I showed you some stuff. Now you got to go figure your formula. Right. Cause I can't give you my formula. Um, this is the, he, he's been working on that formula for 20 plus years. Right. Um, but he gave me the, the, the equation, I guess the, the starting equation. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, go, go make your own formula. You did it. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the top three things that, that I would 
and and these are I think my the, the first thing I always tell anybody who hits me up, I I ask them, have you thought about it? Mm. <laughs> right. Have you thought about it? Because every every day on Instagram, a new clothing brand or a merch brand yep. is launched. And then also every day on Instagram, a, a clothing brand or a merch brand gets taken yep. down. Yep. So I was like, and you dope really ones have too, to, man. yeah, really dope yeah. Ones too. yeah. Um, you really have to ask like a person, like, do I have time for this? Yeah. Um, is this something that I'm, that I'm passionate about? Or is this something that I'm just like, like we mentioned earlier, or am I just trying to get some sales? Right. Because, um, and I tell this to everybody, everybody's going to buy your first shirt. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's horrible. It doesn't matter mm. if the quality sucks. It doesn't matter what, if nothing. They're going to buy it just because it's you and they want to support you. Yep. But everything after that, you're on your own. <laughs> You're That's on a fact. your own. That's a fact. That's You're a on fact. your own. So, so are you like willing to, to like you know, like back in the day, knock on everybody's door, mm -hmm. introduce yourself, speak. Yeah. Um. So that I think that's my my biggest advice. My number one advice is: Is this some? Why do you want this? Is this something that you're really interested in? Or is it because you think you're gonna get rich off of this? Or is it maybe you think that just because your favorite celebrity is gonna wear it, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a hundred thousand followers, which is yeah. not true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, at all. not exactly. true at all. Um mm -hmm. the, the second one. So let's see, why are you doing this? The second one, the second one would be can you do it by yourself or do you need like people? Do you need people team. around you? Yeah, mm -hmm. to motivate you, or do you are you like a, do you a self starter, right. or or are you somebody that needs a, a constant push? Um, because that's 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 really important. Um, if if you're not, if you don't, if you can't wake up early to 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 handle these orders and and provide customer service and like um. Even though you don't need to, but I feel like even even with you when you when you purchase the hoodie, mm -hmm. um, I try to keep you posted every step of the way. Hey, I just ordered the blank. Yeah, hey, yeah, it yeah. just came in. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm about nah, to. you were dope with that too. <laughs> you know, I, just, I just shipped it. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. So it's like, um, yeah. Do you need a team or can you handle the workload by yourself? Right. Um, because there are there are times where it's like. Especially if, if like whatever route you, you pick, um, because there's like there's different um avenues of going it. There's like, you know, you can source, you can just like create a logo or design a shirt on Illustrator or Adobe and then right. send it to like one of these uh warehouses in, in, in Pakistan or here in the Bronx yeah, yeah. they have a few and then they make it for you. And then all you all you're really doing is creating the design and then selling the product. Right. Um, and then there's like the way I chose to do it is I I do everything. I, I make the design, I peel the design, I, I um iron the design, I fold it. Right. Um wow. that's that's wow. the longer route. Right. But when the people get it, yeah, it's like they know that you made it. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's it's weird, but it feels like the, they have a, a part of you. They're wearing a no, part definitely. of you. Definitely. Yeah, so, um, it, it, like the other way, they're just wearing your a shirt you designed. Right, right. Um, right. Yeah, but the other way is like this: you're wearing me because yeah. I work a, an hour on your stuff. Right, right, right. <laughs> you probably yeah. got a little a sweat drip. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, like, that's what I told you. Like when I when I received it. Yeah, and I, I like you. I'm like, okay, it comes in the packaging and I open up and I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, this is cool. And then the thing that impressed me the most was the tag. Like, and uh -huh. you know, people are like it's a tag, but no, like that's for a person that's coming up and for yours to be as intricate and, and as detailed as it is. I was just like, yo, this is impressive. 
And it like really like made like the whole, and I was just like, yo, like this is dope. Like he and I hit you up. I told you, I was like, yo man, I'm yeah, yeah, really yeah. impressed with like the detail in this because <laughs> you, know, you know, I, I, like you said, you know, like I'll, su- you know, I support, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'll, I'll, you know, I put out, you know, X amount of dollars to different brands that may or may not last or whatever. And I just, you know, because people were trying to do their thing and I'm always, yeah. I'm always down to support. Um, but, you know, it's like you said, it's like that first one, everyone will buy it, but then, you know, there's that whole, uh, you know, this is the first, I was like, uh, I'm gonna wash it. It was a large, now it's a small. Yeah. You know yeah. I'm <laughs> or, you know, yeah. it's just the quality aspect. And, you know, it just, it, it feels comfortable. And then I'm walking in the street and people are looking at it and they were, you know, they were admiring it from a front end, like, yo, that's dope. Um, you know, and it's, it, it's, it's a quality piece of clothing that, yeah. you know, when, when I was promoting it, I'm tagging, like I tag like Macy's, Jimmy Jazz, like, you know, I'm tagging <laughs> yeah. people, I want them to see it and like to yeah, see this yeah. and to pay attention yeah. to it. And, yeah. and, you know, like, listen, like this is an up and coming gentleman who, who's really, has a passion for this and you're doing this yourself like you don't have like, a presser or you don't you know like you're not mass producing these things like that's insane man wow mm-hmm. wow kudos to yeah. you my, my yeah. goes, go, you know tip my hat to you 100 percent. that's amazing yeah yeah thank you thank you, you know? um and then i think the last the, the the third one um the the third one would be don't get upset, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> don't get upset if things yeah. don't go your way. Like everything else, I think, um, like is like I said, everybody everybody's gonna buy your first one, mm-hmm. and then you're gonna have to be out there, you know, um, meeting people right. and giving 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 people a reason to buy your stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're like like me, I'm, I'm quiet. I'm, I'm very quiet. Um, and I like to like m- let my work speak for me, but I also have had to learn how not to be quiet because then people who may not be working as, as, as hard as you or producing a, a, a product of the same quality, those people will get a look before you yes. just because they're, they're more vocal about mm-hmm. what they're doing. Um, so definitely like this, this whole experience has taught me how to be more, more of a, of a, of a salesman, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and just more vocal about the things that I could do. And, um, which is why, like I started putting together these videos and, and, and more content because, um, and that's what, that's what people want to see. And that's what, that's what will draw the people that don't know you to the brand um so yeah just patience i guess patience would be the last one definitely yeah i I tell people patience and persistence yeah because things aren't going to go your way especially if you're a person of color i mean it's just it just is what it is that's funny because (laughs) in in, in my in my videos um i try not to I try to get somebody else to do the speaking parts because yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like how I sound. But for the first video, I was like, people need to know who you are, what you sound like. They got to put, you know, a, a face to the name and, and whatnot. So yeah, definitely, definitely. And I can imagine how hard that could be for you because you're so, you're like you're in the cut, like you're low key, like yeah, you chill. Yeah. Like, but it's like I'll know that you were there. But if someone asked me. If, like what you said, I'd have no mm-hmm. recollection. It'd be like, all right, he, I heard him laugh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I heard him laugh about something, but you know, that's he it. Was he, was he was present. He was present. He was there. He was present. <laughs> but I, you know, his president talking, I didn't really hear him say anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I, I see your pictures and you, you're you out. And I get, you know, that you be out. You be out there. You know what I'm saying? But that's part of being young and that's awesome. You be out yeah. there. You be at, you know, you be at the little spots. You be at the brunches and you got the Vivas Vici. You, and, I'll, and I'm like, yo, man, nah, I'll be like, nah, I'll be, yeah, yo, listen, yeah. I, I, I'll be, ha- I'm literally happy for you because, you know, that's part of life and the hard up, the, the hard upbringings that we've all faced 
you know, these these are the fruits of the labor. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is for every smack you got in the back of the head. And <laughs> every, every time you had to take the long way home because you yeah. didn't want to walk in yeah. front of certain people. Yeah. There was one, one of the things I wanted to ask you, right, is so there was one time I saw you post. You were like, you know, Everybody wants a shirt, but when it comes time to pay, ah. <laughs> I started laughing. I, and I, you know, I put like a like a laughing emoji or whatever. But I wanted to ask you, <laughs> part of being part of being an entrepreneur, what are some of the pitfalls of that? And I assume yeah. like, you know, people placing orders that they don't want that they don't end up fulfilling or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. So if you could just talk about like some of like the headaches of being an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so definitely, I, I put, I actually post that at least once a month. I just word it differently. <laughs> I just word it differently. Uh, no, but it is, it is, it is. Um, it's less of a headache now because I made. And so Vivas Beach, I have an LLC. So, you know, I, I, I pay taxes. <laughs> I pay taxes <laughs> quarterly. Right. I pay um, the, the sales tax. Um, wow. So it wasn't, it wasn't until this, this December mm -hmm. when I, I had to hire a, um, uh, uh, what is she? A, fina a financial consultant okay. Okay. for, for the brand for the brand so she takes care of my taxes and the, the books and all that stuff um because you know I, I i can learn it but if if you have a professional that's Definitely. way better than you at doing that stuff and you can just focus on making shirts and and making right. the customers happy then why not right um so so i had to do that because um i kept forgetting to pay the taxes <laughs> I, oh. I just kept forgetting it <laughs> And then when when we finally did the audit for for 2019, mm -hmm. I had so many like leftover things that I <laughs> I, I I like let's wow. say you ordered you ordered something um, through Instagram. So what I right. what I was doing before was I would just because I, yeah I felt like from 2018 when I officially launched. Um, I was doing hats, dad hats, and t-shirts, mm -hmm. 2018. Um, and then I did a couple of sweatsuits here and there, nothing major. But 2019, 2020, that's when, like, I, like I found the, the sweater that you're wearing. Right. I found that um, wholesale provider mm -hmm. and, like, two others that if they don't have stuff, I'd rather just not make anything right. because everybody that gets Viva's Vici knows how it's supposed to feel. Right. And, and, and too. from, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and from 2000 and from 2017, where, where I was trying stuff out and 2018, which was like the first official year, I was just purchasing um, sweaters and, and shirts from everybody just so that I can pick who had the best feel? Um, because there was there there was a, a feel that I was trying to go for, um, and and I always um, reference you know you know BBC Billionaires yeah, Boys Club yeah yeah so, yeah so so that's like a, a a brand that I look up to honestly because their quality is is amazing but their prices are still doable right it's, it's not like brand, uh, right. Pharrell's brand, brand. Yeah. For, yeah, Pharrell's brand. Mm -hmm. And even though it's Pharrell's brand, it's still considered like streetwear. Right. Well, uh, it, it's not like a luxury brand, like uh, Louis Vuitton, stuff right, like that. Right, right, right. So which, which I'm not trying to, I don't think I want Viva's Vici to go to that level because then it, it defeats who I'm trying to serve. It's the mission, right? Definitely. Yeah. Um, so definitely like when I, when I look at, clothing brands in existence bbc is like the clothes the closest thing to like that, that i would like to emulate um but but yeah so i was you know testing out all these blanks and for quality and learning about 100 percent cotton and polyester and all that <laughs> and all these different <laughs> things um 
So I was just trying to please everybody. I wanted everybody to just wear Vivas Vici. I didn't care if you paid me later. <laughs> oh. I don't care. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I so 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 I was just excited that you wanted to wear this. Right. That I had I had something to offer that I made and, and you wanted me being that excited. Um, I set like a, a reputation that you can just hit me up, text, DM, tell me what you want. I'll get it for you. Drive up to your home or whatever, and then you can pay me. But then I found out that doesn't work once you start paying taxes. No. And, uh, <laughs> Not at that, all. That, that, that definitely doesn't work. So um, I think the last, uh, like from from September to to November, which is usually my fall, my fall collection. Yeah. Um, I saw a drop in sales because I was really enforcing the you either go through the website right. or you sell first. Right. Before your order is confirmed. <laughs> because I That's had to, I had yeah, I had to pay back. Yeah. <laughs> I had to pay back, yeah. I had to pay back and I was like, Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> And it's just, it's just, it's just unorganized. If you want, um, uh, for the for the people to take your business serious, then right. then you have to set like you know structures and boundaries and things like that. Right. So I felt like a, a first step in, in in that direction would be no more DM orders, no right. more like um, texting me and just saying. <laughs> bring it to me and I'll I'll pay you in cash. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. nah. Yeah. Like you have to, you have, you know, just like yeah, if you yeah. shop at Macy's, you pay exactly. first and then they ship it to you. Right. Um, so yeah, so then it, for the fall for September, I started doing that. Um, but yeah, the biggest <laughs> headache was definitely running stuff because every time I, I release a product, mm -hmm. like especially for this, for this, for this um spring collection that I just released. Right, right. Um, what I usually do is I do a week of pre-orders before I put it on the website. Mm -hmm. um, and what the pre-order just, I do the pre-orders because, you know, through the website, it charges tax and shipping and, and state right. tax and all these things. Right, so right. with the pre-order, you can tell me, hey, I want this, <laughs> sell me right away. Yeah. And, and, you know, you can skip the, right, the right. tax. Right. And it gives, you, it gives you an incentive to pre-order. Right. Um, so that's my thinking. You know, why pre-order? Because it's a, it's a little cheaper, and you're there's an incentive to pre-order. But so many people will pre-order something, and I'm like, hey, the pre-order is only confirmed once you the payment goes through. <laughs> so I do a week. I I, I promote it for a whole week from right, Sunday right. through Friday, and then right. Friday at seven p.m. I close it down. Whoever paid, I order it right then and there. Whoever did it, you just gotta go through the website. Um, but but out of like <clears throat> during that week of promotion, I'll probably get like fifty requests to pre-order. Right. Which I'm like I'm like, damn, that's a I, I, now now I'm thinking about how long it's gonna take me to make right. these these fifty sweatsuits. Right. Right. Um, and then by the time Friday at seven hits from that 50, I'll probably get a confirmed 20 or 25, which isn't bad. No, um, but it's far from that 50 right. who were like from from Monday to, to Thursday, putting the fire emoji and the, yeah. and the, the, the hard <laughs> sign emoji. And the um, I get I get paid Friday. So Friday morning, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so so what I usually do, I send one courtesy DM. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you still interested? Right. Most of, I'm not gonna lie to you, most of the time I don't get a reply. <laughs> <laughs> I just they just leave me on scene. scene. <laughs> yeah. But then yeah. after that, you know, it lets me know that you know you, you it was it was it was a hype thing for you. You right. saw it, you wanted it, but you didn't really want it. Right, right. Um, which and then no, there's no hard feelings ever, and I don't take offense to it, um, because you know people, you don't know their struggles, or or maybe they did want it and something came up right, that right. was more pressing. So you can right. never take it personally. 
but that that has been like my <clears throat> biggest challenge that transition from ordering stuff and and actually losing money because i have like i have a a, a blue bin here with just uh uh made items wow. and just people that just never came to to pick it up so wow. so what i try to do is like you know if it's on the holidays i'll just if you're buying something, I'll say, hey, do you want this at half off? Most of the times, I'll just give it away to, like, um, uh, them containers and yeah, you know, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the uh, clothing bins and things like that. Gotcha. Or if somebody's doing a um, clothing drive, whatever I have to say, I just give it away. Um, okay. Yeah, because I know, you know, nobody, the person that isn't going to pick it up after however many months and then yeah, right. to have to look for somebody in that size that wants that color <laughs> to then sell it i'm like no nah, i'd rather right. just yeah whatever aye, aye. Um, so that's been that's been the number one uh annoying factor but it it's gotten good. better it sounds, like <laughs> it sounds like a headache it sounds like a headache sounds like a headache but i mean yeah. i mean you, you deal with it and you deal with it with such class I mean, it's just like, no, seriously, because you're just like, yeah. you know, you're just like, you know, I can imagine, I would, <laughs> I don't know what it's like to see you frustrated. Like, it's just like, <laughs> I don't know to see you frustrated. Like, you're just like, you know, this guy, he, he said he's going to pay it, and he said, no, and I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, I'd be like, this mother, you, I'm coming to your house right now, what that money is. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that, but yeah. in my mind, I'd be like, yo, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. The kind of patience that I know that you need to, to run, uh, you know, that kind of business, a retail business. And, yeah. you know, I mean, man, like you, you be doing your thing and just get this insight. <laughs> now, when I, now when I look at the photos, I'd be like, yo, man, I would be like, yo, you mother... You better, you pre-order, you better pay. <laughs> Don't make me DM you. <laughs> it's crazy. But it's dope. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, at this time, you know, this is the part where, like, like I give the flowers to. And I've, I've been kind of giving you flowers throughout, but I'm really proud of, yeah, I'm yeah. proud of, like, you know, you doing this and, and really stepping out. And, you know, I've, I've always admired you from afar because you've always been the type where, you just always like there's just a calmness about you and it's just mm -hmm. like you know like you know this is you're never too you was never too riled up like you was always like centered you were always present yeah. in the moment and i can see that how that translates into this and you know I, that's gonna carry you to to your success you know and i and i really hope i'm you know i'm I feel like you, you, sh this should be successful because number one, it's really yeah. dope. It's fly as hell, mm -hmm. um, and it has a meaning. Yeah. But two, you know, like for for a person of your stature, you know, and, and knowing what you know, the, the the humble beginnings in which you came from, you know, who, why wouldn't you root? Why wouldn't someone root for you? You know, yeah. what I mean, it's, yeah. it's really dope, and it's you know, and I think that you have a, a dope product, and keep pushing it, and and keep keep pushing it you know I, i'll support you you know from afar as i can now i, I gotta get i got it probably you know when you get when you do the summer collection i, I gotta get yeah. like a t-shirt or something oh yeah yeah definitely. <laughs> i gotta get one of those <laughs> you know and you know definitely but I, I, i'm definitely happy for your success and you know just keep keep pushing through man because you don't know how many people you impact just even when they when they hear this and they hear you know your story and stuff like that how many people how many lives you'll you'll change because they you know they'll hear your story and they realize you know what there's certain things i could do but i'm gonna do this way because i'm looking yeah. at someone who did it the right way you know because we, we always glorify like the person who who took the shortcut yeah yeah and, it, yeah. and i never I've never understood, I've never understood that. Um, and being a person who, who has had to take certain shortcuts at times and not because I wanted to, but it was a means to get to where I had to, to get to, yeah. I wouldn't be here if I didn't, but if, you know, if I wanted to take that shortcut, no, I did not. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, was, it was something yeah. that even now it's a shameful thing to even talk mm -hmm. about because it's something that, you know, it, it, there's nothing good in that. There's no, there's nothing proud yeah. in, in that, you know, only, only people within that lifestyle will talk about that amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. But when they get in a room with people, you know, with a person like you or whatever, they won't really talk about that because they right, because they're right. ashamed because there's a there's a certain kind of you know like you look at someone like you and they're like you know what he worked and he's gotten this far in life and I could have did the same thing but I chose not to you know so right. kudos to you kudos to you and man you know that keep doing what you're doing and you know I, I'm rooting for you you know Vivas Vici you know I'm hoping for some you know. I'm, I'm waiting for that announcement where it's like, yeah, we're going to be in this store, <laughs> this store, you know, definitely shoot for like, listen, you, you got to shoot for 145th because that's like. So I, I, I was, so I was in, I, I do seasonal um, partnerships with, with two stores. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've been, I've been at, there's a store on uh, 170 in the Bronx. Okay. Oh, oh first, right yeah, under the train yeah, station. First, uh, right, like uh, you talk two about the blocks four, up. You talk about the four line. You talk, the four we, line right across the street from the McDonald's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. First. Oh, so yeah. About? Yeah. First. First stop. First stop. Fashion. Yeah, I've been there the last two years. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I've been there the last two years. We usually just do like one big boat order right. during like the during the fall. Um, since I'm a new brand and, and you know, it, it's all about um, traffic and and, yeah, and how yeah. fast they can push your merchandise. So that's, yeah. you know, being real with, with myself and with them, you like, I say, you know, if you guys want to, and, th and this has been, um, and again, when I, and, and it's funny because the, the guy I was telling you mm -hmm. who um, invited me and, and showed me. Yeah. He, again, he is the one that plugged me in with that store. Oh, that's dope. A, a person that I, I didn't have previous yeah. relationship with, but he just like, you know, we connected. We both come from like hard work and families and, and we work hard and whatnot. So that I guess that was the like the connection. Um, but he introduced me to the owners. Um, and, and yeah, you know, they said you're a small brand. And I said, yeah, I'm small, I'm new, uh, I'm learning. At that time, I didn't have the uh, the the size tag, oh. <laughs> the size tag in there. Um, yeah. That's actually that being in that store was actually forced me to like reevaluate what I was doing at that point and say, how how can I um, improve just the 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 not the clothes but the buying experience. Um, so then that's what, that's why I created the size tag with like that little, um, the, the love, passion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, no, yeah, yeah. and the little graphic. Cause what? I felt like, you know, size tags, everybody looks at what size they need. So when they see that, they're going to be like, Ooh, this is, yeah, this is nice. yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> and, and yeah. So what, um, what was the, what was the reason for the, the, the evaluation though? Like was it just looking at the other brands and trying to stand up, stand out, or? Um, so I, I feel like um, when you look at what's in the front mm -hmm. of the sweater, um, like the main. So I, I call this like the main design. This right. is the main, the main, the one that sticks out, the biggest one. That's where like the the focus is gonna be on. I think that. As a as a brand, I've always had a good main design, but what I've learned is that it, the details is what makes the 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 difference yeah, yeah. into somebody looking at at it and saying, "Hey, that's nice," mm -hmm. and now somebody buying it because you have a little feather right here. Right. Or like, yeah. or you have the the the, the name on the yeah. strings. So now that's different. And, yeah, yeah. And honestly, the name on the strings. Yeah. To, to let me tell you. Let me tell you <laughs> I saw your post about that. I was like, yo, this dude really cares about his brand, man. Like that. 
so just to peel, just yeah. to peel because it's so small, the strings are so small, just to peel it, the process is ridiculous. <laughs> and then and then to get yeah. the strings flat, iron wow. the strings, place the words, and iron it again. That that process is that's why I said, you know what, I love this sweater. <laughs> this is the, the most detailed sweater I've I've yeah. created. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to make it limited because it's it takes me a whole day just to make five of those things. Yeah, yeah and, and, and then I have another store in Fordham as well. Okay. Um it's called called the spot, the spot in Fordham. Um and they reached out to me on Instagram. Um and they said, Hey, we saw your 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 some of your posts, we like what you have, come in and, and give us a sample of what you, of what you're wait, working with. Wow. Um, so I went, I made some stuff just for them. Mm -hmm. They liked the quality. They liked the workmanship. Um, the owner wore it for like a week or two. Mm -hmm. Um, he washed it, did everything. And I, and then he called me back. He's like, yeah, bring, bring me some stuff and let's, let's partner up. That's um, that's but yeah, so that's that, you know, again, with them, it's seasonal mm -hmm. just so I don't, um, saturate the store right. with a lot of stuff. And then, you know, once. I'm in a in in a in a place where Beavis Beach is more known, I guess. Um, then you know the 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 thought is that the stores will start purchasing larger quantities. Yeah, um, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I think you you know when the de in, when the demand increases, you got to figure out a way to. Yeah, to, yeah the creation yeah. process has to because <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> It's dope that you you take your time and there's a personal touch, but at some point, if you got I'm to fulfill a, <laughs> a ten thousand quantity order, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. your dog looking at you right now, like, yeah, you, you ain't gonna be able to do that. <laughs> I'm not helping you do. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. You. I'm gonna have to hire help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. So yeah. you know, that's that is dope. It's dope. Yeah, yeah. So, do you have any last words, my brother? Last words, well, definitely words of appreciation for you. Um, like, like, and I, like I told you, I, I see um, the growth of of what you're doing, um, and and you know that the the numbers don't lie. But, yeah. So you 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 went from like you know, uh, single bit, yeah, seventy seven <laughs> followers to now you're, yeah. where were you at five five six hundred? No, I'm at. I think right now I'm at like 5,900 right now. Oh, well, my, my bad, my bad. My <laughs> no, bad. no, 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 it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I, I yeah, wish I so. I wish I could tell you how, you know, I, I always look at you guys and, you know, like <clears throat> even just from the liking, I mean, you guys, yeah. but yeah, man, it's, it's been interesting and it's, um, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what it translates to at this point. You know, mm -hmm. um, and what and what is the next step? Okay. Right now, you know, yeah. it's it's yeah. interviewing you, and and you know, there's there's the editing, and then the the finished product, and making sure that people see, you know, they they hear your story and they connect to that, yeah. and, um, and then it's like okay. And then it's taking that energy and then it's on to the next thing. And then, you know, it's, it's, been, it's dope. You guys make it awesome. You know, I, I was, yeah. I was excited today. Cause I was like, yo man, like I'm, I'm really interested. I want to know like, cause this guy doesn't talk. He did he never really spoke. <laughs> so, you know so I was like, and then we wasn't really, you know, like you were in your place and I was in my place. We were in different, yeah. different capacities. So, you know, it was, it's it's hard to connect in that in that yeah, kind of yeah. space. Um, but you know, I'm glad that we were able to connect finally. Yeah, and man, really thank be, you, thank you. And thank so you, for, you know, for like thinking about me. No, no, without a doubt, it was you know, it was one of those things where you, you <laughs> I kid you not, I'll show you the list one day when Corona, Corona <laughs> whatever. I'll show you the list, like the original list, and you were like fifth or sixth because I kept I was yeah. like looking like who am I to have and. Okay, I gotta have this person, this person, this person. I, like, I gotta have, I definitely gotta have Vivas Vici. I gotta have, because I gotta figure <laughs> out what's this new story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because 
you know, he's got the urban culture thing. He, he's rocking the Jordans, <laughs> and, he's got, you know, and he's got the, you know, he's got the card. You putting up that card note that day, that was dope too. I remember that you put up the card note. You was like, people want the foreign, but they don't want to pay. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, yo, stun on them. Stun on them. There you go. Yeah. It's yeah, dope. but. I mean, just like just like for the, the for the people that that always ask me about starting the clothing brand and, mm-hmm. and like we live in like a society, you know, and it's like and and I and it's weird, but I tell people like I buy stuff not because it's like popular. I'm I genuinely like it. I, I like it, you know. Mm-hmm. I've always liked sneakers. Um always been into like into cars and, and all things like that but i i also you know they, you know you you can't live beyond your means right you know so right. then that's that's where a lot of people and, and even even me like i tell i tell my lady all the time like my my in my 20s um i was just <laughs> yeah i didn't have I was, I thought I was a, a damn rock star, a rock star. <laughs> Especially when you start getting yeah. that, you know, you get a check yeah, and you're like, oh. A check, yeah, you, 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 do, you have, you have mm-hmm. more money than, than, than responsibility mm-hmm. in your, in your, in your 20s. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, we don't have anybody that, that, you know, uh, did the right thing with, with money no, and, 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 <laughs> All we heard was, oh, put it in the bank, save it, da da da. I'm like, right. why? Like, they, we didn't have anybody there who could articulate nope. why. Nope. Like, how it would affect you later, or how to grow money, or, or things like that. So, all we knew was like, you, you, you get paid, you pay your bills, and the rest, you yeah, can yeah. do whatever <laughs> you want with it. <laughs> right, yeah. So, yeah, like, right. yeah. So, now, like, I, I told her, even, even my friends, I told my friends, it's like, we had a lot of fun in our twenties, but you know now as like as a, as grown adults, I think, um, and and this is my like uh, my saying for this year, um, I I I my twenties, and it's all about building in my thirties. So this this I told my friends like if you guys are not interested in like in building and and just being better like financially and things like that, I'm, I'm I don't want to spend. Five hundred dollars in the club, no more. I'm I'm good. Right, because you did it. Hey, you I'm did good. It. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Like the the, the the younger kids will be like, oh, um, you have a clothing brand. Why don't you have like um Dior's on or <laughs> or the the the, the new things yeah. are like the the Amiri jeans. I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. man, you, yeah. you don't need that, man. You don't. Right. I mean, it's good if you're a millionaire and and all that and. And even some millionaires are not spending that much on clothing and cars. So right. you that are making minimum wage, why why do you think it's okay for you to do it? But you can't you can't knock them down because I did it when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But you know, as people that, that live through that, yeah. you just wanna coach them yeah, differently. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like I don't wanna stop you from having your fun, just have it a little more responsibly. Because I didn't have nobody to tell me right. not to not, yeah, to be a little yeah. bit more responsible. Oh, man. Yeah, I, so, yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. I know, yeah. I think it's part of within our culture. When you yeah. don't have that coaching, you have to learn. Your, your yeah. 20s are where you learn. It, um, it's good that you're, you're, you're pushing that because as you get older, you know, now that you've experienced all these things, mm-hmm. um, not it makes you more focused with your finances and towards the brand especially since you got to pay taxes towards that yeah. uh, you know and i'm i i haven't done the llc yet because of that because mm-hmm. i'm just like you know what yeah yeah until i know i have a funding stream that's consistent right. yeah <laughs> i don't even want to touch that so i'm just gonna mm-hmm. like chill for a minute and you know i got a tax yeah, person yeah right you know, but, right right yeah but you know, you have, you know, it's, you, you were smart enough to make sure that you had the funding stream intact to have those, yeah. to have those mechanisms work for you. Um, yeah. Which is dope. And I think people yeah. need to and understand I'm, that. I'm, I'm glad I started like the clothing brand later mm-hmm. and not when I was younger, because 
<laughs> I, I would have <laughs> like any any little thing that I made, I probably would have wasted it instead of like you know yeah. learning about reinvesting back into the business and, and and you know upgrading the machines and and taking care of the things that that need to be taken care of. So that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's dope. Well, it's been awesome sitting down talking to you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you, you yeah. Definitely, you know, I, I learned more about you in this hour and a half than I last. <laughs> known you for like known you for almost 10 years and I've learned more about you in this hour and a half. So it's, it's been awesome. And, you know, salute to you. Salute to your brand. You know, salute to 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 the crew that, you know, I. I pictures you know everyone that's down with you salute to the little dog over there or yeah. the big dog i see the dog. guy <laughs> he wants your attention i'm trying, I'm trying to ignore him <laughs> nah, he wants your attention he's i see his, i see his face like three times he's looking up at you like yo you did this yeah, podcast man. too long now come on you need to rub my belly or something <laughs> but yeah he keeps putting up. his ball on my lap i'm like <laughs> hey. But definitely uh, shout out to you, brother. And, and, you know, I wish, not even wish you the best. I'm rooting for you. Keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, su- it's success is certainly to follow. Um, and continue to be the awesome person that you are, man. Because, you know, there's no there, there there's no price on character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no price on, on class. And and you, you definitely, you, you, you emit that, you know, you, you're definitely a person of class and a person. You know, <laughs> nah, being honest with you, Thank man, you, you know, it's, it's, there is, there's, yeah. there's not a lot of that. You know, I think a lot of it is, you know, there's the spectrum that we have now. It's either shock you a thousand percent, and then you yeah. got the cancer, the, the cancel culture. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who, if you, you know, you, you say the the slightest thing wrong, or you know, yeah, yeah, they want to just shut you down, and there's there's no balance. And what we're, we're, what's going on mm-hmm. right now, particularly. So, you know, shout out to you for for always being the man, the man that you are. And so, you know, I mean, it was dope. I appreciate you. Yeah. You know, to get that Divas Vici Spring Collection. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, definitely look on. You know, at Divas Vici. Um, he's on Instagram. You'll see the, the designs, you see everything. And you know now he does he does it hand by hand. So you that's might get right. a piece of sweat that's that's literally <laughs> every, you gotta put that in there. Every 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 shirt comes with a piece of me. <laughs> literally. You know what I'm I actually don't say that because then people no. start taking that somewhere. They're like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't say that. But needless to say, I appreciate you for joining me. Um it's been Louis C of Vivas Vici. I've been just heck. And this has been just another podcast. Appreciate y'all. Good night. Have a good night.